Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today we're doing the, well, it's the exact same day, so <laughs> we're doing Halloween quizzes and today is Halloween day for me, so I have three new videos coming out to you and this might be uploaded at, I don't know, two o'clock because I only, I only have like uh, I don't know. It's quarter. It's quarter past one right now for me. I think. Yeah, quarter past one for me. So I have to do this and upload it at two o'clock for today for you guys. And just three more videos out coming out uh, today. There's one scary game. Fucking hate doing it. And then there's two um, react re uh, two um, reactions to scary TikToks. So, yeah, um, yeah, so, let's, anyway, today, let's get started with a quiz first. <laughs> and then, and then you'll see what, what the others would, ha would have. So, let's get started with this quiz and see how I get on. I don't know if, I don't know if they give me, I don't know if they give me an answer. So, <laughs> um, let's get started. Which Celtic festival inspired the modern tradition of Halloween? This is Irish. Quizzes, I think so yeah which Celtic festival inspired the modern tradition of Halloween no clue no fucking clue uh Peladon Imbolic Imbolics <laughs> Lasagna <laughs> Sam oh, yeah. I'm just gonna pick one Sam -hen. I, I didn't know I didn't I that, that's the only one that I picked I, I swear to god I didn't look at these answers I swear to god um the correct correct is, um, I can't even say the word is an ancient Celtic festival marking the end of a harvest season did not know that that was a complete complete guess if you f I swear to god I didn't look at the answers before doing this, I swear. What is the name of the haunted hunting club in Dublin where hellish rituals are rumoured to have taken place in the 18th century? The Burren, Cave Hill, the Hellfire Club, uh, Kyle Moore Abbey. It's the Hellfire Club because I've seen and been there. Well, I haven't been. No, I haven't been there. I've seen... I've seen um, clips of the, of the of the place, and it's like the, it's a really old building. It, it it it's just made out of fucking bricks. <laughs> that that that's an Irish home for you, or a castle. That's that's a, that's a castle. <laughs> so it's the Hellfire Club. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, and also I bet, I bet everyone that is a Stranger Things fan is gonna say. Is Stranger Things real now? Because the Hellfire Club? <laughs> yeah. Correct. The Hellfire Club is still standing hidden away high in the Dublin Mountains. That's how secret it was, I guess. <laughs> in which city in Northern Ireland would you find what is often called one of the best Halloween festivals in the world? I don't know. This is Belfast, Derry, London, Derry, Lisburn, or Newry. <sighs> Newry? I don't know. What is it? What is it? Ah, oh, it's Derry, London, Derry. I don't know why. If I press on it, I, I can't. <laughs> Which of these spooky castles in Ireland's ancient east plays host to the bloody chapel the site where a man murdered his brother for the family what the fuck is a burr castle ooh chilly um bucket skull grave um after fucking putting on an accent saying him Kilkenny castle or leap castle burr castle sounds really really sinister <laughs> I don't know it's just this sounds like it I'll, I'll pick that Okay, never mind. 
the correct answer is Leap Castle in County Offaly. Oh, okay, didn't know. <laughs> didn't know that. Does it have leap years? Hmm. <laughs> Funny, man. Wow. Great. Which famous author from Ireland wrote the legendary novel Dracula? Samuel Beckett, Seamus Heaney, James Joyce, or Bram Stoker? I have heard of Seamus Heaney and I have heard of James Joyce. Not the others. Not the others. I'll try Samuel Beckett. Okay. <laughs> Bram Stoker who pinned Dracula. Okay. Uh, Dubner Bay. What would you find at the center of a borrowing brack? A tradition Halloween cake filled with raisins from Ireland. It's a ring. Everyone knows that if they're from Ireland. When 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 you get a borrowing brack in the middle of the it's like a cake. Okay. And then in the middle of, of the borrowing brack, you get this is for all the people that, that are not from Ireland or doesn't know what the fuck I'm talking about. You get a piece of bread and then it's like it's like a piece of bread. Like like a loaf and then get the You eat the whole thing, then then the middle of why am I doing that? In the middle of it you get a ring. I don't know why, but it's tradition. I might get married. I'm not on the telephone either. <laughs> Good one. Uh, finding the ring foretells that you'll be wed within the year. See? If I get ring <laughs> and um, I'm, uh, today uh, today probably. <laughs> um, why? I'm, I'm getting married next year? Hmm, okay. That's weird, but okay. I think I'm gonna get married. <laughs> Do you know that jack o' lanterns were originally used to ward off evil spirits? Who showed these was not originally carved into a face for Halloween? Okay. P a pumpkin. De definitely a pumpkin. Pumpkin, uh, you can carve in. Uh, turnips. They used, uh, uh, pumpkins were big back in the day, so then they used turnips. Ah, uh, beets or potato. Um, I don't know. Can you do a bit? I'll just go for beets. Oh, I don't. I don't know. The beets, false. The beet is one of the traditional jack o' lanterns vegetables, alongside the potato and the turnip. Wait, wait, is the pumpkin? <laughs> Which of these was not originally carved in Tesla? Fuck! I didn't read it right. <laughs> Ancient Celtic dressed up in animal skins or on Halloween. Okay, that's fucking weird. Why? But Celtic back then. Fucking weird people. Giving us the tradition of wearing costumes today, but do you know why? It was fashionable, you know? They wanted to dress up fashionable. Okay. <laughs> Uh, to perform a scared ritual to avoid being kidnapped by evil spirits or to go trick. It's definitely not being, being fashionable or go trick or treat. Imagine Celtic people coming to your house. Um, ancient Celtics <laughs> coming to your house. Can I have some candy trick or treat? <laughs> okay. Between the f to form a social, a scared ritual or not be kidnapped by evil spirits. <laughs> They're both things that they that they would have done. Uh, I would go for not be kidnapped by evil spirits because back then you're fucking people were crazy back then about evil spirits in Ireland. I think I don't know. I don't know. I wasn't born back then, so but it does sound weird. See, they dressed up to disguise themselves as malevolent spirits to avoid being whisked away by genuine harmful spirits okay oh that's pretty much it <laughs> you score hey four out of eight fuck off great work you're not easy spooked i know well today you'll you'll know how spooked i am <laughs> um so yeah uh that's it for that guys and uh get ready for today because it's gonna be it's gonna be funny 
there's going to be stupid stuff, there's going to be a lot of stuff going on, so, just starting off easy, so, <laughs> until the fucking, you know, um, so yeah, see you later, have a good day, and goodbye. And, uh, and I forgot to say happy Halloween to you guys, uh, have a great day, um, if no one's, uh, 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 there with you for Halloween you might as well watch uh, some YouTube and have a look at me if you're if you're if you, if you don't if you if you're not out or going anywhere come over come here. look at me subscribe not on the page you subscribe but <laughs> subscribe or just watch it that's the only thing that I would like <laughs> but yeah uh, happy Halloween and have a great day